it's Shannon and today I am going to walk you through my process of choosing my TBR for this year's Reading Rush, formerly known as the Booktubeathon. And I am so excited. I haven't made a video about books in a long time, which you can tell if you go back on my channel, but I am back and I am excited and let's get started. So, the first reading challenge for this year's Reading Rush, I keep forgetting that it's called the Reading Rush, if so if I seem like I'm hesitating, that's why, new name, but it's to read a book that has purple on the cover. So I don't have that many books with purple on the cover, um, purple is my least favorite color, <laughs> so I don't tend to gravitate towards it. So the only ones that I have are because I picked them up of the plot or got them from someone as a gift, things like that. So let's see what my options are here. Because you love to hate me, I've read this. It could be a reread option if I really want to. And then we have... Is this purple? Does this count as purple or is it blue? Dang it, I think it might be blue. Um, I don't think that's purple. I think that's my other problem with purple, is that I don't know what it looks like, to be honest. And then, one of my nieces is loaning me The Land of Stories first two books, and this one's purple, so this might work for this challenge if I decide to read the first one as well in this TBR. So I think this is probably going to be my pick. The next challenge is to read one book all in the same spot. So you can do this in different sittings. They kind of explain that in the challenges video, but I would like to try and see if I can read a book in one sitting during this challenge. We'll see. Um, so I'm probably going to want to go for a shorter option. I've read most of the books on my um, bookshelf, but let's see. Hmm. I'd really like to get to books that I'm borrowing from people that they've either just lent me and said, you should read this and stuff like that so that I can return them to those people. So let's see. I'm thinking about the testing as an option for one to read all in the same spot because it's a little bit of a shorter book and it seems like it's going to be quite thrilling. So this is a dystopian book and it the first page kind of just reminded me of Divergent and the synopsis and stuff reminds me of a mixture of like Matched and Divergent. So it sounds really interesting. My sister-in-law lent it to me a long time ago and was like, you should read this book, it's really good. And so I figure it's a good time to pick it up. And I think that would be a good one to read all in one spot. Although let's be honest, I'll probably read all of these in the same spot that's right off camera <laughs> because I just like to sit on my couch and read. It's the most comfy spot. Also, a dog is barking or a child is screaming outside and I'm not sure what's going on, so sorry about that. <laughs> the next challenge is to read a book that you meant to read last year. So let's see. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of those, honestly. So many that I mean to read at a certain time and then I don't get to them and it ends up being years later by the time that I read them. So for this one, I might give myself a couple of options. Uh, ooh, that'd be a good one. I think I'll do that. I've been in the mood to read this. <laughs> so I think I'm going to choose Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I've heard so many good things about this book. I haven't gotten to it yet. I've owned it since last year and I planned on reading it last year. So I think it definitely fulfills the challenge. So this is a good option. I know I've got others as well that fit that description, but 
but I think this is the best option. The next challenge is to read an author's debut novel. So let's see which ones I have on here. I could reread again, but better. <laughs> I just got so excited about that. So if you watch a lot of booktube, you probably know who Christine Riccio is. Poland Bananas Books is her YouTube channel. And I love her videos. I have for a long time. And she just published her first book, Again But Better, this year. And it is so good. <laughs> I just love this book. It's so, oh, I just, mm, I can't even speak about it. <laughs> but I've been meaning to reread it and annotate it. So I don't know if a readathon is the best time, but it also could be a really fun thing to do. Rereads are always fun on readathons. I might have to do that. I think this is the right copy to annotate too. I want to annotate the one that has her annotated. Yep, this is it. So the Target special edition of Again But Better has um, two chapters that she annotated in the back and so I want to annotate this copy. I also have the Barnes & Noble why book club special edition that has like a Q&A with the author and some deleted scenes and stuff so they're both really cool but I think I will choose this. The next challenge is to read a book with a non-human main character and I actually tend to read a lot of books that have a non-human main character what with sci-fi and fantasy a lot of them are like not human I don't know what I'm saying um, but let's see. The problem is I don't like going into a book knowing that they're not human if that's like a surprise in the plot. Does that make sense? If the book starts out and they're just an ordinary person and then you find out that they're not human? I don't want to know that before I start the book. And then, oh, so how do I know? which characters are human and which ones aren't. I never thought I'd have to say that, but <laughs> I do. Um, you know what I could do? I could read Wires and Nerve Volume 2, because it's about Aiko, the robot. Robot? Is that what she is? She is artificial intelligence of some kind. Oh my gosh, I don't have Volume 2. But I could always see if the library has it and pick it up during this readathon. I think that's the perfect idea. All right. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. It's Android. That's the word I was looking for. She's an Android. <laughs> so I think that I will pick up Wires and Nerve Volume 2, which is not this. This is Volume 1. But I will get it from the library or buy the book or something before next week so that I can read Wires and Nerve Volume 2 for this challenge. The sixth challenge, I don't know why I keep doing this every time I say the blank challenge, but the sixth challenge is to read a book with five or more words in the title. So let's see. <laughs> um but I haven't read before because I'm trying not to do more than one reread, I think. Um, I have a lot of books to read. You know what I could do? This would be a great idea. These are always the best books to read during readathons for me is to, that's a great time for me to get in all of those, um, what are they called? Graphic novels. <laughs> I cannot think, but I think it's a great time to read a graphic novel, and my friend, so my friend lent me these Legend of Zelda um, graphic novel adaptations that she wanted me to read, and I think this would be a great time to get to one of them, so I'm not sure which one I'll choose, I'll have to look into the plot and ask my husband who knows a lot more about Zelda than I do which would be the best to start with but I think that will be my pick for this one um, as it is um, a longer title I guess the Minish Cap Phantom Hourglass the Minish Cap Phantom Hourglass is five 
and Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages is six. So both of these have at least five words in the title. I just had to check on oh, my hands. I'm so out of it, but yeah, I think I will pick up one of these. And the last challenge, <laughs> I can't stop doing that, is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So let's see which of these books have been turned into movies on my shelf. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, I have been meaning to read Life and Death, aka Twilight Reimagined, for a long time, but I haven't actually picked it up. So I think I could do this and watch Twilight. It's a little bit out there for this challenge, but I think it still counts, right? Because <laughs> it's not necessarily reading Twilight again, but it's still along the same vein. Like, it's still Twilight, just from gender swap perspective. So I think that's what I might do for this one. <laughs> So thank you for joining me today as I picked out my TBR for the Reading Rush of 2019. These are all the books that I hope to read. I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but we shall see, and I'll keep you guys updated throughout the readathon. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you with the first reading challenge next week. Bye!